on with task two from the previous video, we will now look at how we can update the layout of these pivot table style event reports. Say we want the age to be viewed in the column dimension. We would have to click on the layout button at the top of the report and change a few things around. Make sure the periods are being filtered. The column dimensions should be the organization units and then age and row dimensions should be condition of patient and malaria species type. Click update. We can now see that the data values are being aggregated according to the age disaggregations that are a part of the current legend. If you had another legend set applied to the age data element, you could quickly re-aggregate the data according to these different disaggregations. For example, maybe a new report we need to create requires values categorized by 0 to 4 years, 5 to 17 years, and 18 plus years. A legend could be generated to capture this. To view this ourselves, we can apply a different legend set to the age data element in the criteria selection column. Click on age range and select COD age group broad instead. After changing this, click Update. You will see that the new values have been disaggregated according to the newly selected legend that you have applied. This allows you to create multiple disaggregations and output reports in various ways according to different requirements. Take a minute to complete the activities associated with this video on the table layout and legends. Again, make sure to keep this table open as we will continue with the example in the next activity.